you for being with us tonight. We begin with some breaking news. There are multiple reports this afternoon of an arson attack in Waianae involving what witnesses describe as a Molotov cocktail. A Waianae business suffered damage last week when someone threw a Molotov cocktail through the front window of the business while the owner was inside. We have a camera crew on the way to the scene and we'll update you when more information becomes available. The state says as of last week, about 70,000 people got vaccinated statewide. More is expected as the official launch of another large vaccination site on Oahu begins on Monday at the Blaisdell Concert Hall. Sarah Madison reports. The Queen's Health Systems, which is running the clinic, says more than 12,000 appointments have been made so far. Kicking off another large vaccination site, this time at the Blaisdell Concert Hall, is like music to some people's ears. AARP Hawaii says they're excited the capacity to vaccinate senior citizens, 75 and older, will increase. But they tell us some folks have expressed concerns. What we've been hearing is that people uh, in some ways don't know where to go yet. Uh, we do know that some kupuna are having a hard time getting through and so I would just encourage family members to check in with their um, kupuna to see if they can help them get through. Appointments are needed and can be made online. If that's not possible, folks can also call the Queen's COVID-19 vaccination line. That number is 808-691-2222. AARP is also working on solving transportation roadblocks. But the other thing we're trying to set up, Sarah, is working with the state to figure out how to get to homebound residents, people who perhaps aren't going to be able to easily get to a mass vaccination site. Uh, we're worried about those who are struggling with that. This center is going to help, help to alleviate the, the backlog that we're seeing now. As Oahu begins to vaccinate more residents, House Speaker Psyche tells us the health department has been maximizing their requests every week for vaccine from the federal government. I know that in other states, um, um, max, mass vaccination centers are, are still being set up, um, but we have to do better. We have to, um, this, the, the government, state government has to do a better job in vaccinating more people. Queens tells us they're concerned about the unpredictability of the number of vaccines they'll receive, but there have been no cancellations so far. Queen says the Blaisdell Clinic will be open every day except Tuesdays. People should bring their ID and insurance card. Also, parking is free. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.